My name is Willie Kate James and I'm 15 years old and this is my story. Um, growing up, I was raised in a split household. Um, it was still a Christian home, but it really wasn't a good example for me so young. But along with that, um, I went for more comfort in times. And while growing up with a Christian home, I went to all the VBSs and youth groups and everything ever since I, I was eligible to do that. And well, so young, you know that Jesus died for your sins because you're told that and you know that he loves you and because your parents just say it all the time and you just, it's drilled. And while I don't think so young, I ever really felt that love. It was just a fact that was told to me. And then, you know, you keep growing up and growing up and, well, you, you're still told and you're still told, well, I really accepted Christ and felt that love um, in the sixth grade. I was, and I ended up here at student, Alice Drive Student Ministries. And whether that was because I was looking for comfort or because it was just a social event or obligation, I still came and, it, and by the end of the year, I was, this was my second home. Um, it really showed me the love of Christ and I just remember feeling that burning inside of me for Him and how happy and grateful I was to be saved and just that love for Him so young. And well, growing up in middle school, you know, you have so many different chaotic situations you're put in and you're growing up and at some point you start changing priorities. And that was a big one for me is I was looking for to friends for comfort when times got tough, not God. And slowly I was drifting away from Him and I didn't know how to fix that, but it's happening so fast and you're growing up and you can't see it all in front of you when you're in it. But I don't know, times, times get tough for you and you just start looking towards other things. And that's where my downfall was. I had not really good friends and no one had the best interest for me and I was just so lost because when you're walking no one's really telling you that you're supposed to walk this way and X marks the spot and it's just you walking with Christ. At some point I got lost and you know middle school hits and you have the identity crisis and you sort of lose yourself when really you should be looking towards Christ and sadly that happened to me. And well, going into a divorced home, I didn't have very uh, stable love shown in front of me. And I think I definitely felt because of that. But in the end, I mean, you'll know that no matter what happens, God forgives. So I fell, but I came back. And ever since then, I've just been on fire. Everything that I've done, everything that I've wanted is through him and I just I can't explain how much of a difference it has made and I see now that even though I saw his unfailing love at the ripe age of 13 I I didn't really accept it and feel and know what it's like to be loved no matter what until I have those regrets and made those mistakes and well even though this happened and I regret it I know now that I'm so much more closer to God and to Jesus and I think that's something that even though it came through bad, I wouldn't change it because now I know and that's something no one can ever take away from me. In the end, He just loves you no matter what. And if there's anything that I've ever wanted more in life is peace from God because that that's true salvation. and. It's just sort of nice. And if there's anything I've ever wanted for anyone else, that's what it is. Um, that's my story.